Extified needs a battle royale. I said what I said. Extified needs kill streaks slash score streaks. I feel like a simple UAV would go such a long way in matches. Extified needs skill based matchmaking. Something to get rid of the bunny hoppers. At play X Defiant, please nerf movement. <laughs> we do not care. I live inside my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the through I see the heart in Cross out the ones who help my cars and watch me weep. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe. It's all right. And this will be the last time I play this fucking game. Do you hear me, chat? Last fucking time, bro. I swear. So, recently, I've been having a blast on X Defiant, or the so-called COD Killer, as everyone and their dog has been labeling it. So that was a fucking lie. So today, I thought we'd talk a little bit about what I like about the game and what I don't like about the game. Hi, my name's Drea. I like to make videos like this one as much as I can, so if you like that kind of thing, make sure to subscribe to see more of my content, and I'd love to have you around. Now, with that out of the way, let's start with what I don't like about the game. I don't have many gripes about the game, but here are the few that I do have. We'll start with something I've seen a lot of people complain and give feedback about. That something is hit registration. His own sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Hit registration in X-Defiant makes me feel so cheated some games, and then others it feels super crispy and tight. Throughout my time playing FPS games, only one other game has had this issue. That game was Apex Legends. In Apex, servers have a tick rate of 20 hertz, meaning every second the server updates 20 times, which may sound like a lot, but in reality, healthy FPS games, at least in my opinion, need around 60 hertz or higher for a good and smooth experience. X Defiant runs on 60 hertz tick, so the issues with hit detection are fixable and don't have me worried nearly as much as when I was playing Apex. My only question to the devs or anyone who knows more about servers is why is this happening? That guy's cheating. Okay. No, I was lagging. Just kidding. We're lagging out the ass. We're lagging out the ass. You can clearly see that I hit more than enough bullets to end them, and then nothing happens till multiple seconds after I've hit my shots. To me, it seems like desync or something, but I don't know. Let me know if you do. Next, I'd like to talk about weapon leveling. Leveling weapons in X Defiant feels more like a chore than a fun and rewarding activity. I think the reason that weapon leveling is so slow is because the game didn't launch with too much content to sink your teeth into at first. So, the dev team artificially padded out how long weapons would take to level to keep players working towards something, which would also explain why they keep giving double XP weekends. I believe the devs are using the double XP as an incentive to keep players coming back to the game. They've mentioned making it faster to level weapons in Season 1, but I think a better system will be to give players challenges for weapons that in turn give high amounts of XP when completed, like camo challenges from Call of Duty. Being of camos, why are there no weapon camos other than the bronze, silver, and gold ones? Like, I understand that the game has to make money, but the problem with it for me is that I feel like I'm not working towards anything. When I play, there isn't a meaningful grind other than unlocking attachments and leveling up normally. I feel like the game launched in a rush state and didn't have enough meat on the bone, so to speak. The game just feels a little hollow, and I hope the devs heard the feedback because I really want this game to do well and not get shelved like a ton of other Ubisoft projects in the past. Namely, Hyperscape. <laughs> hey y'all, come look at this. <laughs> While not completely similar in the way that they play, I see a lot of similarities in the way that they both launched. And I just pray that Ubisoft can make this game successful and not forget about it in four months. Alrighty, now on to the things I like about X Defiant. First is obviously the movement. 
The movement in X-Defiant isn't perfect by any means, but it's fluid enough to have a great feel and make me feel badass when I do something cool. Obviously, it isn't on the level of Titanfall or Apex, but it hits the mark well enough to get an 8 out of 10 score for me. The sliding is smooth, the jumping feels good, but most importantly, they have air strafing, and the air strafing is easily done on controller as well. I only bring this up because in Apex Legends, there's a divide between keyboard and mouse players and controller players, like in most games, as one input can utilize movement tech like tap strafing and the other cannot. Well, at least not without configs. In X Defiant, this doesn't seem like it will be much of a problem, as both inputs, at least from what I've seen, are pretty equal, and I'm someone who's played on both. Obviously, the aim assist debate will forever be a topic in any competitive FPS game with both inputs. But in X Defiant, they've solved that issue as well, because you can enable input-based matchmaking, therefore taking all the players who aren't playing on your input out of your player pool. It's settings like these that easily put X Defiant over most FPS games nowadays, in my opinion. Not only do they have input-based matchmaking, but they also use connection-based matchmaking as well. Meaning, yes, X Defiant does not have SBMM, otherwise known as skill-based matchmaking. That's what we've been waiting for! It's what we wanted all along! And holy crap, you can feel it. When I play Apex or COD, I'm facing some of the sweatiest players I've ever played against in my life. Not even joking, damn near every single one of my games feels like a tournament, and it just became tiring. And I'd say I'm an above average player, but when I play those games, I feel like I'm just starting to learn FPS for the first time. So, getting on X Defiant made me remember, holy crap, I'm actually a really good FPS player when I'm not facing some of the world's best players. And that's not an exaggeration. During my four years of playing Apex Legends, I've ran into countless pros and streamers who are miles better than me, and I try my best to hold my own, but that didn't always happen. One of those streamers was Lyric, who you saw on the montage at the beginning of the video. No hate to Lyric, as he's probably my favorite person to watch play FPS games, but going against him is a whole nother story. So, good on the devs for keeping SBMM away from this game. Next, I'd like to talk about the weapons. The selection of weapons in X Defiant is good. You have fan favorites like the ACR and the MP7, but also ones I didn't expect like the AA-12 shotgun, which kind of sucks, but it's cool to see it in the game at least. The weapons also feel very good. I absolutely love that the devs decided to give every weapon a predictable recoil pattern as people who take the time to learn and master a weapon will be at an advantage, further pushing the skill gap, which in my eyes is perfect for a game like X Defiant. Because in most arena shooters, there is a pretty distinct ceiling you hit when getting better and the higher the skill ceiling is, the more appealing X Defiant gets in my opinion. Overall, I think X Defiant has a very bright future ahead of itself if the dev team and Ubisoft support it in the areas it's lacking and continue to build on the strong foundation that it already has. Also, give us some more to grind for at the moment, because I don't see much reason to get on other than to stomp lobbies. Alright, that's my opinion on X Defiant. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a like as it's always appreciated and helps me grow. But anyways, shout out to Jayus, my channel member. I got you, bro. I hope you have a good day. I love y'all. See you in the next one. Goodbye.